Moi! So today I'm going to do the vlog about the campus tour. I'm going to do it in English because it might serve also some other people than from my school and even in my school there are people only speaking English and this is I think kind of useful. So yeah, uh, it seems a bit desertic now because I'm, um, it's the best day to do it, it's not good weather at all. But let's forget about it. It's just that I was supposed to do it in the winter but then I got like lots of stuff to do. I got employed by Centria and now it's my last day here. Here we are, I don't know, the 5th, the 5th of July I think. So before going I needed to do it. So <laughs> I guess this is the last occasion to do it so I'm gonna do it. So this is the school. Yep, I think I'm gonna turn the camera, it will be easier, surely, to show the school around. But, yeah, let's go. I, yeah, I said it, it's a bit deserty because there are no students anymore and most of the staff is on holiday, so, yeah. Okay, so this is the school, there are m multiple entrances, I will show you later, and usually it's open. But <laughs> because it's really summer and there isn't really no one, it's not open. So I'm gonna have to use the key, but obviously you don't have to use the key usually. So this is the main hall, which is very, very, very quiet. Seems like I'm doing it at 5 a.m., but it's actually 10 in the morning. I'm switching back to a vlog format because it feels so weird to talk and there's nothing, nothing like it's, it's weird. So this is the info office if you have like something that you've lost maybe or if there's a problem, someone is making cardiac arrest, there's the defibrillator, uh, uh, survival kit like everything, medical kit, medic kit and the man kind of knows everything about the school so if you have a question, he's also kind of helpful. There's the student service office, but those you won't really have to deal with them because you're exchange student normally, so more about you would more have to deal with the international office, I guess. So this is the school canteen that's closed, obviously, because there is no one. <laughs> but yeah, there's the, the tray, the thing to pay, and then the tables maybe I can explain it also it could be useful there's two parts in the buffet there's a salad buffet and then there is the lunch a vegetarian lunch and a normal lunch you can choose between either one or the other you can take of course a salad plate but then if you take you have to take only one to get the student the, the discount if you take like the two plates you get still the discount but you have to pay like if you took two meal so don't try to mix between it it's between but it's the rule i mean it's not the rule it's not from century it's, it's a sodexo restaurant actually when i'm turning maybe it will change someday but this is what it is so now you know okay this is oh yeah we can go in this is a hall, lecture hall. I usually it's where they do the orientation days on the first day when they explain you everything. I had a storage problem on my phone. There was not no place anymore to film, so I guess I got to be a bit weaker. So this is the like one of the lecture hall, usually where they do the orientation days when they explain you everything how it's gonna happen like little way you come when you arrive so good thing to know it's right by the entrance the lecture roll one two four so yes let's go a cool photo wall if you want that's something useful this i think we will go upstairs afterwards or yeah, we'll go upstairs after this. This is also another lecture hall, more open. Usually there is student playing music, the music student playing some music or conference, like lots of things happening. Obviously not in the summer. 
Okay, this is the closet room. Like in Finland, there is very, very few people stealing. Like, I mean, maybe even I would say no one, but not saying no one would be lying. So people just casually leave their coat, even sometimes their purse in it. I've left my wallet in my coat like so many times and nothing ever happened. Even my backpack with my computer, everything, nothing happens really. So you arrive, you put your coat here, then you go to a classroom and you're way better. Because also it's kind of useful in the winter. You have like huge coats, taking them all around the campuses sometimes. Not sometimes, it's annoying, just that's it. Okay, uh, ping pong table, also free to use. Lots of stuff that you can take from the library or just use and go and take back here. So, yeah. Printer, you also have, they explain you how to use use them, of course. At the start of your semester, yeah. What did they don't say, like the toilets, of course, but that's something. This is the student office. In student office is like for for translation because it's a word that's not used in French. It's a bureau des élèves, le bidou. So yeah, they organize lots of events during the year. If you're not there in the summer, the summer school, you don't really benefit from there because the the school here actually ends in May, so kind of early. So yeah, after May, students are pretty much gone and. The student office also kind of closes. Okay, so here also something useful, the help desk. If you have some problem with the computer or, or something, people like the informatic service of Central. Oh yeah, that I can show. Okay, I'm gonna show you one classroom that I have access to. Our, so classroom are locked. But, boom, sorry. So this is, a classroom there's someone <laughs> okay but you see there's some full stuff computers everything like like a basic ba basic informatics school now so yeah, this are all classroom i got my finnish classes here so also those classrooms are locked but not Always not, uh, but the teachers open it for you. So when you have classes, of course. But yeah. So this this is very cool thing that I mean that I've never seen before, but is apparently quite quite usual in Finland. It's a working area where you have to take off your shoes, so you put your shoes on the rack. And then you can go and it's way more chill. So it's also cleaner. There's no like wetness on the floor because of the snow or everything because everyone have their shoes off. And so it's kind of cool. There's very cool couches, take a nap, <laughs> tables. For this is like, this is the group working areas or it can be noisy because it's for group working. There's also computers that you can use. These ones are not locked in a room, so you can print something or to use them if you're not in the classes. On the tables. And they also have sport equipment. <laughs> because why not? <laughs> Another classroom. Lots of them. Those ones are actually always open so if you want to work and there is no one you can actually use one of them <gasps> it's so heavy to hold the phone all the classrooms okay i might not go oh yeah we can go actually because we're gonna go off from there other classrooms classrooms everywhere of course it's a, it's a school oh i hit my knee in the door okay Stairs to go upstairs and all the classrooms, of course, but it's not what I'm doing. coming to show you. This is the other 
there's someone working on. This is the other working space like that. Is the shoes off? But it's silent working space. So I'm not. I don't know why I'm talking like very low because there is actually no one. So <laughs> I can be a bit noisy. But here you're supposed to be silent. Work silently on your own. If you want to work noisily, you go downstairs, and there is actually like ergonomic seats where you. Can when you're there, like it's, it's a bit soundproof, so very cool to work here. Also, the couches, the gym ball, <laughs> and some some computers. Yeah, so let's go. So this is upstairs. The green floor is the silent room. Be silent. Also, I've, maybe you've already seen them, but. Uh, I was actually passing by some. These are some very, very cool rooms. It's the other one. Okay. It's silent room. If you were in there, there is like noise suppression. So you can work very calmly or you can be a bit more noisy with a group and like have actually kind of a meeting because there's also TV and cables to connect to the TV and everything power outlet very comfortable also i kind of like working here <laughs> to be honest so yeah, just things to know that it's rooms for staff normally staff or professors but you can use them if there is no staff in them they can book it you can't so if they have a booking for a meeting obviously you have to go but every time like all the other time we were in the room you can have like some pretty fun work session here yeah there is also uh, i cannot point it the speaker that's very good <laughs> okay so let's go so this is where the teachers office are so these are all teachers office they're it's not like in France or in lots of other countries actually. Teachers are way more accessible and you can actually go talk to them. Like they're in office, like open, you can see if he's here or not and just walk and say, hey, they don't bother with like title sir or something. It does not exist here. Even in emails, you don't write it. It's, it's even weird to write it, to be honest. So yeah. This is the administration staff, like the rector actually sits here. So very people are very accessible. There is not that, there is hierarchy of course, but there is not that sense of hierarchy. No one, anyone can go and talk to these people and they will answer like normally. Also rooms that you can go into study or just be alone. <laughs> okay. Of the workspace, this is the library, so I'm talking quite noisily, but there is no one, so I don't care. But you should care and you should be quiet. Another room like that, these are I'm showing this because this is useful. I was searching for them actually for a long time to collect paper to put some paper together. I don't know what's the word for the for the thing, but that doesn't matter. Okay. So this is the help desk of the library woman and the library man. There are actually two or three people working there, I think. They are closed, obviously. It's summer. Why didn't I do it before? Great question. But also, if you want to buy some Century merch, I'm not saying that because I'm working it, because I mean, I don't get anything from it. But I know that we bought some, so that's some things you might want. To do also so this is actually the co the coolest thing i think of the school there is puzzles on that table like jigsaw jigsaw and you can just come after your classes or during the break and do a jigsaw that's fucking amazing and there will never be piece missing because people are not stealing the thing so 
no problem with that, don't worry. And it's actually kind of fun and relaxing to have a puzzle break. <laughs> okay, so this is a very small one, but as I said, there's like, to be honest, I think 10 people on campus. Uh, maybe 20, but no, not even. So maybe the 5,000 pieces are not that good for two, for now. But yeah, great place to be. Best place to be, actually, I think. Oh, this this box is also another silent box. Another iCube. <laughs> okay, the library. Um, don't know why I'm showing it, but I mean... This is a cool library, there is even big IT book thing. Oh yeah, there is also, yeah, I can show that also. I mean, look at this door, it's so cool. Usually it's open. This place is also very cool because this couch is very silent. It's very silent here and it's actually kind of cool to work here. There's this box all around, also the campus. And if you want to just take a phone call or something, or be silent alone, it's also soundproof and like with sound suppression. So, works good. Mm. Yo, that's maybe not useful. I was thinking if I was showing the elevator, but it's if you're disabled or something, and if you're disabled or something, they will show it to you, so might not be that useful to show. I was going there and I forgot to show you that. These are, these are games that you can actually take to play with your friends. Board games, it's, it seems like nothing, but it means everything. Like there's so many things. In old Finland, it's not only the school, just for well-being and culture and empowerment. Like you can pretty much do anything. That's that's great. At least I think. I think so. I kind of like it. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I was seeing that and I forgot to tell you, but there's since recently. There's a microwave that you can use also if you don't want to eat at the campus. And kind of great. Okay, I forgot that. Also, I forgot so many things. Well, I mean, it's closed. That's why I'm forgetting. This is the cafeteria. There usually is coffee here where you can take coffee. You take your coffee, you go and you pay yourself for the coffee. If there is no one, if there is someone, she can make the thing for you but usually people they take their things there is like the self service thing you come you scan your thing if there's a coffee you press then you pay with the card it's done everything this is something that wouldn't work everywhere i'm well aware of it it was very disturbing when we came here but it works here like everyone pays like there is no problem with that so, I mean, there's still a camera, of course, but you just pay for it. That's it. Okay, I'm going downstairs. Downstairs is the laboratory, some others, other classrooms. And, oh yeah, I can show that also. This is something that now everyone will know about in the school. <laughs> I'm so bad, I'm giving you a secret. Okay, um, when you go down the first stairs, the first door on the left, it's open always. There's... This room, this first room, which is a silent room that you can use to take a nap. Actually, it's really silent. You should not make any noise in it. So, I open that door so. Ooh, what if there was something? Oh, need to pull, of course. Okay, some other toilets. But I mean, that, that are, those are things you will discover by yourself, I guess. So, laboratory. This is an ET laboratory. 
just we won't see oh yeah we can see a bit there's the, uh, it's not it it's like embedded software or vr or something they're doing some cool cool stuff but yeah you can have of course i have my embedded system class here so there there is another phone box, like phone box, it's not, there is no phone in it, but just private thing. This is the chemistry laboratory. Look very cool. They're always doing some weird shit, but let's not talk about it. <laughs> okay, so let's go. Other laboratory each time when we go, there's like lots of them, like mechanical engineers. Actually, like there, actually some electronic stuff that we cannot see. Oh, this is in a big mess, huge mess. Like when there is no students, they don't tidy rooms anymore. What stuff? What? What the hell? Let's say it that way. Okay, this is another laboratory, and there I think it's kind of a wood laboratory. They have like some cool stuff always hanging around. Like school also have like some other labs in another campus. It's actually centralized, divided in three campuses. The one here, the main one, where you have like most of the classes. One in Petasari or Jakobstadt. It depends if you say it in Finnish or in Swedish, the names change. And there, there is some business classes. Campus is kind of cool. And there is another one in Ulideska where they have lots of laboratory, a drone laboratory, a robot laboratory, with some like kind of the robots, robots dynamics stuff like uh, Boston dynamics. What, what was I saying? Uh, that what they they have they have lots of things like three D printers, of course. Uh, yeah, lots, lots and lots of stuff. And there is another one, another laboratory, but I can't remember what it is. Okay. But oh, you have to see uh, the cyber security lab laboratory, of course. Okay, here is the music students, the student, ah, the music student, yeah, the music students' rooms. I mean, it's also dark, I won't go in because I never went in, so I'm not a music student, so can they have some pianos and everything that the music students need okay uh this is kind of also important yeah, there is actually centria in finland in general is a lot focused about well-being of the students and of the people in general so smoking next to an entrance or next to the building it's is strictly forbidden and people there is a smoker area that can i can actually go and show for those smoker yeah, shame on you but yeah everyone respects it so that's something very cool because i mean it does not happen in very every school that everyone respects that thing especially if it's that far no it's not that far but it's it's studied so it does the fumes doesn't get in from the windows because of the wind and everything so this is the smoking area you have to get to go here here to smoke and literally everyone respects it so respect it just that's it i mean it's a rule just follow the rule so yeah so this is the back of the campus it's also open always, not in the summer, but yeah. Those are phone books, those are IQ, and now it's nearly finished. But this is my baby. <laughs> my project, uh, the international office, is actually the leading project of recycling things that because when you're an exchange student you came you come and you buy things because there is nothing in your apartment then you leave four months ago and those four months things you throw them away it's kind of, kind of sad 
So what Sentry is doing is that they are collecting. So they are collecting stuff. Oh, well, there was someone, so I just let it pass. They are collecting stuff, storing it, sorting it, and then the next exchange student group can benefit from him, from from him, from it. Why well, am I personating those things? But yeah, uh, so you don't have to buy everything and it's kind of and waste it when you go. So that, that's a bit stupid, but to to do it, that, that's cool that we do that. So yeah, actually lots of stuff. I'm very proud because we were expanding it because we knew that there was lots of stuff going and it's only the beginning yet. So it's been like two or three semester that it's on. It's a good thing that you don't have to buy everything when you first come and then you can just leave your stuff so you don't have to throw it away and other students can also benefit from it. So that's cool. Okay. It was nearly done. Maybe the most important thing I think I forgot about it. To show you where's the international office. So yeah, this is the other main door. Main door is there. There's all the corridors that we just went through. And this is the international office. Our office. I mean that's still my office for maybe four hours. <laughs> but yeah, if you have a question, a problem, something, first read your emails, read your emails, read the WhatsApp group, read everything, and then if you didn't find your answer, you can come and ask us. <laughs> yeah, so thank you.